This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. What is going on YouTube? I am John Rettinger. Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take the best tech rumors from the week. We condense them into one show of awesome so you know what you missed and what might be coming in the next few months. Let's start with some crazy specs for the Galaxy S5. Apple might be getting into wireless charging in a way that we have never seen before. And the HTC One successor supposedly coming in early 2014. The HTC Two is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and start rounding things up. The Galaxy S4 is arguably one of the best spec phones out there. But looks like the Galaxy S5 might be getting some crazy new specs. So a mysterious new Samsung smartphone was spotted on a benchmarking site, GFX Bench, earlier in the week with the model number SMG900S, which is not a sexy name, but it's got very sexy specs. Supposedly has a 2K resolution screen, that is 2560 by 1440, which is insane. Quad core Snapdragon 800 clocked at eh, just wacky 2.5 gigahertz, Adreno 330 GPU and running 4.4 KitKat. Before you get all excited, it's possible that this is the Galaxy S5, but those specs don't at all line up with what we've expected with Samsung's next flagship phone. The S5 is supposed to feature, and of course these are all rumors and things can change, a 64-bit processor. This device doesn't even offer the latest Snapdragon 805 processor, instead running the older 800, which Qualcomm released in mid-2013. And Samsung doesn't like to put mid-specs in anything for their flagships. Based on the device's model number, the SMG900S might be a follow-up to the recently released Galaxy Round we took a look at, which is a sort of weird, roundy phone, which had the model number G910S. There's been a ton of noticeable technologies absent from Apple's products. For me though, NFC and wireless charging have been the giant ones I've been pining for, but it looks like we might get a solution to the latter one. So in a patent, first uncovered by Patently Apple, appropriately named, they detailed a crazy charger which uses near-field magnetic resonance, or NFMR, to power multiple devices at once, even without touching them. So stay with me here. One image in particular suggests the hub could charge your Mac, wireless keyboard, and a mouse, as well as nearby iPhones, iPads, and iPods. It's also possible that based on the sketches, future iMacs come technology built into them, turning your computer to a freaking wireless charger for all your Apple products, just by being in proximity of the computer, which would be incredible. It would be really true wireless charging. Imagine having your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air just chilling around your house and charging wirelessly. It could totally reduce the need for plugging anything in at all. I really hope this comes to pass. Probably won't happen for the iPhone 6. Maybe it'll be the cool new technology for the 6S. But Apple, please do this. Make it a reality, because that would be freaking living in the future. The HTC One was probably my favorite phone of 2013. It looks like a successor is going to be coming in early 2014. Before you say, duh, let me tell you where the information is coming from. So a patent trial between HTC and Nokia in the UK earlier in the week had some kind of cool results revealing what could be the launch window for HTC's next flagship smartphone. Now they're not going to call it the HTC Two, but I like to call it that. According to a high court judge, Richard Almodas, public ruling the HTC One successor allegedly codenamed the M8 will launch either February or March of 2014. Based on previous leaks, the M8 may also come equipped with a 5-inch display, quad-core Snapdragon 800, I was kind of hoping for the 805, run KitKat 4.4 out of the box, but of course we don't know anything until they make an official announcement. Perhaps we'll see Sense 6 on board as well, removable back, and probably the fingerprint scanner that we saw in the HTC One Max. Either way, I'm excited, but maybe they'll make that HTC logo an actual freaking button instead of just looking like it should be. We take a break for a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Full Sail University. The mobile app industry is going crazy gangbusters right now, and Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program wants to teach you the skills you need to take advantage of these crazy opportunities. It's next stop Mac Gold Rush, you know, making apps. Through Full Sail's Project Launchbox, students receive a MacBook Pro preload with industry software plus iOS and Android devices, which is kind of nice. Courses delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which is going to maximize all capabilities of that brand new Mac you just got, giving you a learning experience really unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store and a few others, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with just no signs of slowing down, mostly because I have to download every game out there. If you're ready to master technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, check out fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more. Again, 
fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up if you'd like it. We definitely always appreciate it. And of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news, rumors, opinions, and rants. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next one. What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you wanna see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.